Many people know McGregor as the loud, cocky MMA fighter who is showing off his watches and yachts on Instagram. But rarely anyone knows about his humble beginnings before MMA. From fixing toilets in the streets of Dublin to becoming the champ champ of the MMA world, Conor McGregor has become the highest paid athlete in the UFC and made the sport popular with incredible records and entertained fans with his showmanship. In this video, we will cover how a plumber living in a village of just 18,000 people became the most famous MMA fighter of all time. From the tough streets of Ireland, Dublin, growing up in the streets of Crumlin, a neighborhood in the south of Dublin, Connor had to learn to defend himself. He started fighting classes under the guidance of John Cavanaugh at Straight Blast Gym. It gave him an outlet where he could channel all his frustration. He started spending more and more time in the gym. However, he was miles away from being a professional fighter. His family pushed him to find a job, and he started working as a plumber at 17. He was doing the job to support his family, knowing that he was wasting his potential. He tried to push himself to do this job for more than a year, but the voice inside his head kept getting louder. Finally, he decided to give up. One day, the Irish gorilla was sitting in a parking lot with his fellow plumbers during the lunch break. It was raining heavily, and at the time, he realized enough is enough. He just drove back home and told his parents that he is never going back to his workplace again. He quit his job to become a professional MMA fighter with a dream of becoming the world champion one day. He was so sure of his success that he told his parents that by the time he is 25, he'd be a millionaire. With the help of coach Kavanaugh, Connor started to put even more work to improve his skills as a mixed martial artist. His entry into the world of MMA. At the age of 19, McGregor made his debut in Dublin. He won his first two matches and went on to become a top fighter in Ireland over the next five years. That, however, was not enough to make ends meet. He was putting his life on the line and in return was hardly getting compensated for it. It is hard to believe that he was reliant on welfare money from the government for a lot of years while he was fighting in lower level MMA matches. Despite all the difficulties, he kept his dream alive. He told his parents that he was gonna make it when there were not even examples of people around him making it big in the MMA world. He collected his final welfare check in April 2013, just days before his fight in the UFC. According to him, when things were tough, he used his visualization. He would visualize himself competing in the UFC and becoming the champion of the world. When many people would relax after making it into a top league like UFC, McGregor's will got stronger and he was realizing everything that he had visualized. That gave him power. In a famous interview, he said, When the gold belt is around my waist, when my mother has a big mansion, when my girlfriend has a different car for every day of the week, when my kids' kids have anything they ever want, then it will pay. Breaking and making records in the world of mixed martial arts. The path to featherweight champion was incredible. It was insane just how he used his mind games and confidence to break the fighters as well even before they stepped into the octagon. Especially his fight against Jose Aldo is seen by many as the best UFC event in history. The mind games that he played with Aldo got the better of him. He was not his usual self. Connor, on the other hand, was calm and ready to make his dream come true. In the starting 13 seconds, he went a little backward and caught the Brazilian Scarface with a beautiful, powerful left hook. This was one of the greatest moments of Connor's career and on this day, Jose Aldo's winning streak of 15 matches was broken. Connor McGregor became the first ever two-division champion in the history of UFC. Not only did he stop there, but he also earned the status of champ champ by becoming the UFC lightweight champion simultaneously knocking out Eddie Alvarez. In 2020, he butchered the MMA veteran Cowboy Cerrone at 170 in the first round. Like he says, who has gone up and down divisions and stopping people like that with knockout victories? Truly, no other than the notorious himself. Duology with Stockton's bad boy Nathan Diaz. Until this time, the notorious was bouncing heads off the mat. He was on a crazy win streak. He used to roast his opponents in the pre-fight press conferences, predict his knockouts and then execute them. Connor was not only talking, he was backing up his talks with his incredible performances. Nate Diaz called out Conor McGregor after beating the untouchable Michael Johnson. Conor accepted the challenge and both the competitors were set to fight in a welterweight bout. The fighters traded insults in press conferences and promoted the mega event. Now it was time for them to show what they have got. In the first round, 
Connor had success with his body work, but Nate's combos were not coming slowly. The two went to absolute war, and in the end, Nate. Nate threatened Connor with a guillotine choke, stopped him on the ground, and locked him into a rear naked choke. It was the first time in the UFC that Connor was seen tapping out in the UFC. In the second round at 412, Connor tapped out. This was a hard pill to swallow for Connor and as well as his Irish fans. A rematch was scheduled for UFC 200, but Connor failed to fulfill some media obligations. Then it was rescheduled for UFC 202 in the welterweight division. This fight was a treat for the fight fans. The bloody unstoppable war kept going for 25 minutes, and Connor came out as a winner via majority decision. Both the fights were awarded the fight of the night. Connor came out on crutches, yelling loudly, Doubt me now! Doubt me now! This rivalry has been one of the best. Not because of the fight itself, but also because of some crazy press conferences. Connor making the UFC what it is today. Well, there is no doubt that Connor is Dana's safest and best. He knows that when the Notorious is going to walk down the ramp and enter the war zone, people are going to be there, for real. Undoubtedly, the Mystic Mac is the biggest draw in the world of fighting. Having headlined 5 out of 6 biggest 6 highest selling Ultimate Fighting Championship pay-per-view events. His bout with Khabib had the highest pay-per-view buys in the history of MMA events. And his boxing match with the Money Mayweather had overall the second highest buys in pay-per-view history. In 2021, Conor McGregor was reported as the highest paid athlete by Forbes with earnings of $180 million. The Mystic Mac also has the most consecutive performance of the night awards and post-fight bonuses in UFC history. During his trilogy fight with Dustin Poirier, Conor broke his leg. He has started training and almost recovered from it now. While talking with the Mac Life in his pub, he hinted that he might make a comeback at 170, fight the champ, and become the first man in history to become champion three times going up a weight class. It remains to be seen whether he can visualize that into reality. Is this the end of Conor McGregor's career or are we going to see him bouncing back again? Just like he did against Nate Diaz? Comment in the section below and give us your thoughts. If you're enjoying our content and want to see more, be sure to leave a like before subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.